today from AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. This is the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. Taking on Derek Carr and the Las Vegas Raiders. Well, the roof is closed, but as you can probably tell, the mouths of these Cowboy fans could not be more wide open. It is a frenzied AT&T Stadium in Arlington. A moment ago, here was the scene with the Cowboys emerging from their tunnel. It was loud. It's still loud. We're ready for football as the Cowboys get set to match up with Derek Carr and the Las Vegas Raiders. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Raiders getting ready to go to work for the first time, and they're led by their quarterback in his eighth season now in silver and black, Derek Carr. It's been fun to watch his development through the years, and right now what you see is a very confident quarterback who has a strong sense of self, totally understands the offense, and knows how to get the ball to his playmakers on the run. Throwing on first down is Carr. Open man is Edwards. He's got it. And yeah, they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 14 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. Now a play fake. Carr. He finds his man complete. It's Edwards. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Derek Carr, very precise thrower of the football. What's the game plan for going up against him? Yeah, he used to be take away the short stuff, I know, but he's more than a dink and dunker, right? And you are right about that. Great analysis of him because he has evolved. Touchdown! Brian Edwards, 31 yards. And the Raiders have taken the early lead. Personally, for him, a great opening drive. He had three catches, including the touchdown. That felt like... Tremendous scouting, great film watching, and creating a game plan to start this off, not only to get him involved, but to send a message to the defense. You can have a lot to handle in this one. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it ends with a Las Vegas touchdown. Elects to keep it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Here comes this Dallas offense, led by Dak Prescott in his sixth season now as the Cowboy quarterback. And I'll bet he's talking to his guys about resisting the temptation to try and turn this into an up-and-down game, almost like basketball, where both teams press and one team gets an advantage. Our team's trying to run with them, and they're just not equipped for it. Doesn't matter whether you're equipped or not. Just settle in, get calm before you go for the big strikes. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Off the play fake, Prescott. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Denzel Perryman came in there hard on the blitz and got him down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. To try again after the sack, Prescott able to hit his target, Lamb. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. the shotgun it's Prescott he finds his target it's Schultz and he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards but no more than that second down three yards on that last carry here's second and seven 
draw play. Elliott. And he's going to be close to a first down as he gets this to the Raiders 41. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Heavy set out there on third and one. The give is to Elliott. And Elliott trying to work his way forward, but it looks like he did not make it. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. He had the distance, but it's no good. Wide to the right, and this score will stay right where it is. his foot but he kind of sliced it a little bit and he winds up missing it wide right the Raider offense set to get this drive started they've got a 7 nothing lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10 and he's got this one across midfield in the Cowboy territory three yards on the pickup there and it'll be second down shotgun now for Carr got a man open it's Darren Waller and he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. First time these two have hooked up this afternoon, and it's a first down. Throwing now is Carr. Going up top. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referees. So the pass incomplete in the end zone, but contact and pass interference. And now where does the ball get placed? Yeah, at the one-yard line. One-yard line. They gave up excellent real estate on that one. That's going to work really, really well for the guys who throw it. There is no denying they want to get him involved. That's already the fifth time that they've looked his way in this first quarter. So that tells me defensively that they want to insist on going in that direction. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Kenyon Drake taking it in from a yard out. And the Raiders have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. This one will come out to the 25 as Pollard is going to elect not to return it. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Here's Prescott. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. So possession goes over here on the punt. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Now, right now, they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. They fake the handoff. Now Carr. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. 
throwing his car on third down. He'll get this one complete to Zay Jones. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, it's Carr. Throw right side, going to be caught by Waller. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Well, it certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. That one, a first down pickup of eight. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. On play action, now Carr. Got a man, it's Darren Waller. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. A good pick up there, 26 yards. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. Here's Jacobs, and he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards as he gets it down to the five. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. And he'll take it into the end zone for a later touchdown. Kenyon Drake with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Raiders add six to their lead. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And it's now 21 to nothing. to keep it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here. But you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. To the air again, Prescott. Throw right side, taken in by Gallup. Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. And he's going to have another first out as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 15-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Meanwhile, Prescott's throw there caught by Gallup. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Ball sits on the 10, second and five. Looking to throw, Prescott. He finds his man complete. It's Schultz. 
The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. They'll throw again. Prescott. Escaping the pressure. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Cowboys are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. Zerline connects on the extra point, and the lead will be cut down to 14. So that drive goes eight plays, and it was all capped off by Dak Prescott keeping it and taking it in on the touchdown run. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. Meanwhile, Carr's throw here into the hands of Jones. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. This time they stay on the ground. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has certainly been one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference as the teams have already come back out onto the field for the second half. So let's get you back out as well to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Raiders with the lead already, and they will get the football here as the second half is now underway. This one will come out to the 25 as Pollard is going to elect not to return it. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter, and they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. Second half starts with a carry by Elliott. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Elliott going to get it again on second down. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Seven yards there and a first down. Here's Elliott. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. On second down, it's Pollard. Two yards, good enough for a first. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. And they run the option here on first and 10. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Nice pickup, 10 yards and a first down on the keeper. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. 
they're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. 44 yards on the ground for him so far. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. They'll try to throw now. Prescott on the crossing route. He hits his man, Amari Cooper. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. From the red zone now, Prescott. Oh, not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Now back to the ground with Elliott. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down and eight. Here's Prescott. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Well, the screen gets seven, but it's not enough, and it'll be fourth down. They'll run it with Elliott. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Now Elliott. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Prescott. That is caught. It's Cooper for the Cowboy touchdown. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Cowboys have cut it to within a score. Zerline good with a PAT. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. On the return comes Drake. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team you've got to be careful right here on second down it's drake a gain of five good enough for the first down well they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half they've got to find a way to get him going he's a big part of their offense they go back to the ground this time jacobs this will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker eight yard gain second and two Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Second down, Jacobs once more. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. On second down, Jacobs. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. 
And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. A run in the jet sweep with Jones. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, they gave up a few yards there, but all in all, I think it's a pretty nice job defensively against the Jets' sweep. If they don't slow him up, he might take it to the house, so they'll take that play every time on the defensive side of the ball. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And a good tackle there right around the 30. Stops him short of the first down. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. The kick by Carlson is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So that one, CD, going to make the road back a lot more difficult. Oh, there's no doubt about that. You know they were praying on the other sideline for a miss because now, as you pointed out, a very difficult road. Down two scores. You don't just need a touchdown. You need a chain of events to go your way. You've got to score, somehow get the ball back, and score again. The odds of that happening, not great in your favor. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good, so they'll be hoping to do that once more. It takes me back to when we sat with the offense coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense. And, and this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. That one covers 29 yards, first down. Now Dak. He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. It's a gain of seven, and that'll make it a second down. Now Prescott. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Now the question is obvious. Do you try to kick the field goal right here knowing that you need two scores? I would be thinking about if I were on that sideline. Get the field goal now, try and get the touchdown later. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. First down now, but the clock continues to move. To throw, Prescott. A dump off to Elliott. Three yards the gain there, second down. The Cowboys looking to get going again in a hurry. Here's Prescott. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Schultz. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. Here's Dak. And it's caught. He's got it for a late touchdown. But probably a little too late. It would take a miracle of epic proportions if they're going to pull this one off. Zerline connects on the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So with 14 seconds on the clock, they've got to go with the onside kick. And it's the Raiders that'll come up with it. And that will put victory in sight for the silver and black. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. So this one, a victory for the Las Vegas Raiders. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game. No turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn.
So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.